Hi lovelies, my name is Akoride Adenike. You are highly welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you coming to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. If you are my own subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful flounce showing on the screen. Let's get into it. Now, I'm making use of full circle flare for my flowers today and I'm drafting it out first. This is the pattern paper I'm using for the drafting. So I folded it into four equal parts. To know the amount of paper you are folding for your home, make sure you get the length of your flowers right. So as for this now, I'm making use of seven inches for the length of my flowers. I have 9.5 inches here just because I'm picking two inches for the radius of my flare. Just pick any inches you want for your radius. But note, the, the more smaller the radius is, is the effect, is the curvy effect your flare is going to give you. So I'm that measuring that two inches from the tip of my paper here. This is the folded edge as you can see and this is the open edge. So I'm just measuring two inches from there now, from the center of my flare, two inches all round, and I'm going to connect it round. I just connect it with my free hand like this. So from this line now, I'm measuring that seven inches that I said is my, is the length of my flare, seven inches all round. From the line and I'm connecting it round as well. I've measured that seven inches all round from this line and I've connected it. I'm going to cut it now. I've cut my flare out as you can see. This is my full circle flare that I'm using for the flowers today. So what I'll just do now is to open one side of it. So my draft is ready now, as you can see. So, and this is the fabric I'm using for the flowers today. I have dull face fab satin fabric here. So I'll easily fold it and cut all the flares that I want from it. Now I'm done cutting my fabric, as you can see, I added half inch all through for my seam allowance. So I have four pieces of flare here. I'm using two for each flare because I'm using two pieces of flare for my flounce today. If you are using more than that, you have to cut more than that. It depends on how long you want your flounce to be. So I have my, I've already cut out my paper gum steel, which is of medium weight. And I have two pieces of it here, as you can see. So I'm using one for each flare. So let's move on to it now. Here is the two pieces of flare, which is one flare. So I'm picking one out of it for my lining. So I'll go ahead now and place the gum side of my interfacing, which is paper gum stay, on the wrong side of my fabric like this and gum it to heat. I'm using my iron to do that. So I'm doing the same thing on the second one of my flare, picking one out of it and gum interfacing to heat. So when I finish with all that, I'll come and show you what's next. I'm done gumming my interfacing to the two flares as you can see. So here's the second so one. I'll go ahead now and place it on each other. Let the right side face each other and stitch here. One side of the flare that is opened. Stitch it to form, to make it one. I'm doing the same thing on the other flares too. I'm done joining the flares as you can see. So I'll go ahead and place it on each other like this. I'll make sure I let the stitching here align on each other. Open this one up like this. And make sure you open this one too up like this for it to flat. For it to lay flat very well after stitching. Open it up like this and let it align on each other and stitch the bottom. You can start your stitching from the center here. Now I'm done joining, I'm done stitching the two flares at the bottom as you can see. So here is it. 
So I'll go ahead now and trim all the excess at the edges here and notch it with quarter of an inch. After that, I'm going to turn it to the right side and give it a good press. So after doing all that, I'll come and show you what's next. Now I'm done ironing my flare. As you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. The interfacing is on the lining, which is here now, which is the wrong side of my flare now. So I'm going to show you how to attach it on the skirt. Assuming this is the skirt I'm attaching it to. What I will just do now is to rule out where I'm attaching it to as a guide for me. So I'm making a straight line at this one side of this skirt now. I'm taking my blouse. So here is it now. This is where the interface. And make sure you overlock all the rough edges before attaching your home place. As for this, as for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just attach it like this. I'll show you how to attach it since I'm not making use of it. So I'll make sure where the interfacing is will be underneath. So this is where the interfacing is. So I'll go ahead now and place it like this. This is where the interfacing is. And this place does not have any interfacing. So I'm placing it like this. I'm going to stitch it like this. I'm using my pen to hold it since I'm not making use of it. Let me use my pen to hold it down. But if you are making yours, make sure you stitch it on your mansion, please. But do that when you are stitching it on the skirt. Do that before you finish up your skirt. So that's why I have to put my hand in between the front and back of this skirt for me to attach it on the front alone. But if you are making yours, make sure you attach it on the front before you stitch the back and the front together. So I'll now go ahead and turn it like this. Hope you understand. I'm going to turn it. I'll start turning it like this. As if I'm rolling it to give me that effect I'm talking about. I'll keep on turning it like this. Hope you are understanding what I'm doing. I'll just be turning it like this to make it form the flowers, the stylish flowers I'm talking about. You know that that flowers look like corn. I'll just be turning it as if I'm turning a corn. I mean the fabric corn. So hope you understand what I'm doing. I'm just returning it like this. Look how beautiful this flowers is now. So what I'll just do now is to use my pen to hold it for you guys. Although at the end of the day, I'm going to use my needle and thread to finish up the remaining once you know i said you are going to use your machine to start stitching heat so i'm using my needle and thread to finish it up because it's a little bit tricky 
if you want to use your machine you won't be able to do that so that is why you need to use your needle and thread to finish it up just make sure you roll it very well and I'm going to use my pin to hold it down now for you to see how it's going to look like at the end of the day but I'm going to follow the line I mean this ruling that I made I'm going to follow it I'll easily do it one by one that is how you are going to make it and make sure you finish up with the front before you stitch the back and front together to make it easier for you please while while tacking it you can be spreading it out just like this so i'll continue tacking now The fourth one. Hope you understand what I'm doing. Make sure you always spread it out while tuck in place. That spreading is in form of adjusting it and make sure you follow the ruling it's a little bit tricky it's a very stylish flounce trying to spread it out to give me a lovely shape so I'm on the last one now I'll just fold it in since it's not it's not more than this Uh, if I want it to reach the bottom, that means I'm going to cut more flare for it and follow the process we followed earlier. So that's just it. Look how neat and beautiful it is. So let me stand it for you to see how it's going to be. As you can see now, can you see? Can you see the beauty of it? It's very nice. And you can add your own creativity to it too. If you want it to look exactly like the one on the screen, you will cut two different fabric for it. You know, this is Ankara on top of the satin fabric and just make sure you the Ankara you cut is two inches shorter than the satin fabric so or any fabric of your choice so and you are going to follow the process as well you start by ruling as a guide then stitch here as it starts and start rolling like this like I did on the first one and make sure you tack it with your 
needle and thread look at it now as you can see it's exactly as the one showing on the screen hope you see it very well so guys if my tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akoride adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akoride adenike please Show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akoridi Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye bye.